become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. I would love to be famous and have thousands of adoring fans. Really? I'm not sure that I would like all the attention. There have been numerous cases of paparazzi interfering with Star's private life in recent years. I love being photographed. If I were famous, I'd do interviews for all the top magazines, like Cosmo and Elle. I wouldn't mind having my photo taken a few times or being interviewed once or twice, but it would get tedious after a while. Imagine the things the gossip columnists would write about you. No one really believes gossip columnists. I think you'll find that many people believe what they read in gossip columns. You'd also have to be very careful about every word you said. If you appeared on a chat show and said something silly, it would be reported in all the newspapers and magazines. I think you're right about that. I'd need a good manager to be my spokesperson. I could do a lot of charity work, which would help a lot of people. That's a great idea. Which charities would you support? I love children, as you know, so probably a children's charity. You'd have to remember that anything you said or did might reflect on the charity, so you'd really need to be very careful. Anyway, I'd be the first to buy your posters and I'd attend your first book singing when you wrote your autobiography. Thanks, but actually I was hoping I could ask you to write my biography. His grandfather is the richest person in the area. What a miser. He cycles to school every day. His grandfather's money is not his. I can't understand him anyway. Hey Jane, how are you doing these days? Hi Martha, everything is perfect. Are you enjoying married life? It couldn't be better. My husband is so supportive with my work and he helps around the house so much. You're so lucky. I hope to get married to a guy like that. I'm so happy. Even though we are both working, we get to spend a lot of time with each other in the evening and on the weekends. Do you guys do anything special? In the evening, we just sit and talk over dinner. But on the weekend, we try to go out to the beach or hit a nice restaurant, or go to a nice cafe. Sound like everything is great. If I can improve my vertical jump a few more inches, I think beach volleyball might be my ticket. But whenever we play, you just sit on the sand, drink beer, and watch the girls. It's a beautiful sport, isn't it? To be honest, I don't think you could even win a gold in hopscotch. Okay, okay. Enough already. We'd better hustle. The contest starts in five minutes. So it looks like we start selling in the U.S. next year. Did Mr. Lin put you in charge of marketing? He's still not sure whether he wants to put me in charge, or whether he wants to hire an American. But even if he hires an American, I'll probably be transferred to our American office. Where will it be? We aren't sure yet. Maybe L.A. I think L.A. would be the best idea. Is it because of trade negotiations that we can start selling in the U.S.? Yes. The recent agreements between the two governments have changed everything. Now we have the right to sell in America at a much lower tariff. It's going to be good. We can compete more directly with them. Great. Our computers have a high level of quality now. We can demonstrate it, and our prices will be good.
so I think it will really be worthwhile. You seem excited about it. Well, you know I studied marketing in America. So maybe the thought of going back there to promote our brand is kind of exciting to me. I'd love to be part of the team. Do you honestly think we can compete though? All the computer giants are there. Yes, I do. I think we can compete. I think we can make a name for ourselves. It will be hard at first. But if we develop a good advertising campaign, I think we can break into the market. The company will have to choose a good advertising firm. And then there's the problem of quality. How do we convince American buyers that our quality is good? It takes some time. Because even if the quality is high, people won't accept a high-tech product unless they recognize the name. Name recognition is crucial. Well, I hope it all works out, John. I think if you're part of the team, things will go well. But you know we'd all miss you here. So I won't say I'm happy to think that you're leaving. That's very nice of you to say. But if we set up an office there in the States, maybe you could try to become part of it. Me? No way. I'm dedicated to the company, but I'm not going to leave Taiwan. I'm happy here. Are you sure you heard right? Yes, he is running for class president. I don't believe you. Take my word for it. Belista, pull me a ristretto. What? You're suddenly some kind of coffee snob now? What's a ristretto anyway? It's basically a very strong espresso. Half the water pulled through the same amount of beans. Pure coffee essence. Sounds like it must be just full of caffeine. I want one of those instead. You fiend. It's about the flavor, not the fix. Why don't you just crush some caffeine pills and start doing lines? I hate to go outside. Me too. Why do you hate to go outside? I meet too many jerks. I agree. This city is full of jerks. Rude people are everywhere. But what can you do? You can yell at them. And they will yell back at you. Yelling doesn't do any good. No, the best thing to do is just stay home. Jacob, are you interested in helping me out and going on a blind date with a friend of mine? That depends. What does she look like? Well, she's got a beautiful face and long curly red hair. How tall is she? She's fairly tall, maybe two inches taller than me. Is she chubby? Not at all. She's actually very athletic. It sounds like she's pretty good looking. Does she wear glasses? No, but she does wear contact lenses. How's her skin? She's got a gorgeous complexion with a few freckles on her nose. Does she have any piercings or tattoos? I think she has her ears pierced and she definitely has a few tattoos, one on her lower back, one on her neck, and one on her left foot. What's the tattoo on her foot like? It's a butterfly. Everyone in her family has one. Even her mother? Yes, even her mother. What's her personality like? She's a lot like me. So there is something wrong with her. It was beginning to sound like she was too good to be true. Why are you laughing? I can't help it.
Where's your better half? She's at home. Is the clock right? I'm afraid it gains a little. By how many minutes? Two. So Janet, do you do any sports? Well, I go to the gym a lot. I am a member of a gym nearby. Yeah. How often do you go? About three times a week if I can. Not bad. Do you do any other sports? Not really. I'd really like to try golf, though. The weather has been terrible this week. Yeah, I'm worried. If it's like this tomorrow, our big outdoor party will have to be cancelled. Let's hope it clears up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.